Hey guys, it's me, Zach and Hyrule, and um, before this video starts, I want to let you all know that I, I'm going to be talking a lot more confusing than I do in my other videos. It's just that I'm very tired, I just got home from work, and I have to work tomorrow, and I try to make this video as quick as possible, and um, yeah, so um, as of and as I'm doing right now, this video is going to be so confusing because I'm going to be talking so horrible. And I'm very sorry about that. And I'm very sorry that I do it in other videos. It's just that sometimes I, I think, I think I, sometimes I get confused on what I have to say and I don't know what to say. And, uh, it just really confuses me and I hate it. So I'm very sorry if I, if I'm doing it, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll talk to y'all later. Hey guys, it's me, Zach in Hyrule. Welcome back to The Sims 4. Like I said in a few videos, I was trying to make a Sims 4 video, but my mic wasn't on for some reason. I did have it with me, but it just been muted. Oh, hey, Sayuri. God, we need to get you working out. All right, so you guys might have remembered in the last episode, Sarah had a bear costume on, and it's kind of a um trait, and I think it lasts until her birthday, so... Oh my god. <laughs> Look out, here comes the spider bear. <laughs> Alright, so we actually, you guys might have noticed, we actually had the baby. I did put that in my video when I didn't record. And his name is Jay. He's a boy. Aww. I was hoping to have a girl, but it's a boy, so yeah. Alright, so, um, today in this video, I actually got the new DLC that just got installed, and it's called My First Pet. And what that basically means is, um, oh, thank you, Link. Um, that basically means that we, um, can train, we can get a pet hamster now. I think it's related to the, um, um, pet, um, the dogs and cats DLC, where, which is, which is where, um, Sayuri and MC are living in. And, wait, what is Sayuri doing? Okay, she's sleeping, okay. So, um, so, um, so we have the baby, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys know on this, and I think, and I'm gonna let you guys, I'm gonna let you guys have an opinion on this. If MC or Sayuri's whim have tried baby for each other, then that'll be the last time we'll ever try a baby, but, um, and, uh, we'll, actually, we'll, I'll keep doing that when it's successful. Oh, something's called Sayuri. I heard that you're quite a brainiac, Sayuri. Oh, no. No, no, they wanted me to do another job. Alright. Oh, God, I, was, I, th I forgot what I was saying. Alright, oh, um. Should I have another baby? Or should I just leave it at that? But, my opinion, I think I should leave it at that. Because all the rooms are crowded. Which means we're going to have to find a way to put the hamster. And, yes, we can get a hamster now. Or a rat, or a guinea pig, or a hedgehog. But, um. I have no idea how to do that. And I thought that would be kind of good because I've been thinking to get a dog for The Sims, but this pet, this DLC thing, um, it, um, I think it's like trained to get like a dog or a cat. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about now. All right. All right. All right. So, um, actually in the last, um, since for a video I tried to record, I got Sayuri to investigate the StrangerVille lab and she actually got this device that can trace some spore clusters which are um which well i already used them but i think she has more right no well um she made a thing that you guys might have saw and we actually need to give that to a scientist but we'll do that later we're gonna try and get a hamster all right so i think we go on the computer for this uh, i think i don't know i'll let you guys know if i find out all right, so I, I found this. This is new. Rodent treats. So anti agony treatment by rodents. I think this is the food we give them, but um, I don't think we can get them. So let's try again on ordering. Let's see more upgrade parts. Oh, we could upgrade. We could get. Oh, that would have been way more easy. That would have been way easy when we try to get MCs um handiness up. Um. Shoot, I don't know what I don't know what to do. Okay, I'll I'll I'll, right, I'll come back once I figure it out again. All right, so apparently it was in build mode, and I think I got Hammy. That's what it said. So um, let's put Hammy 
Let's put Hammy in the fish room. Uh, oh, there's not enough room. Oh, crap. I don't know where to put him. Uh, okay, okay, I have an idea. Let's put him right here for now. Alright, that costs $400, which is not bad. Alright, let's sell this fish tank. We don't need that anymore. And let's put him right there. Aww. Alright, I think that did it, right? Do we have a hamster? We have a hamster! Yay! Okay. So this shows us when he's hungry. Um... Oh, let's rename him. Okay, I'm going to rename him. Uh, what should I name him? Um, okay, I freaking named him Harry. I had no idea what else to name him. Uh, let's, um, oh, let's play with him. Let's play with him. And let's, um, let's observe. Let's, uh, let's observe our little hamster. Go on, Siri, play with your little hamster. Oh, you're gonna take him out? Aww. Oh, no, Aww. <laughs> Look at him. He's adorable Aww. and I like him. I like him. I like Harry. <laughs> Look at him, he's cute. Aww. I want a hamster now. Mm. I always wanted a pet hamster. But, uh, I couldn't. Oh, someone. I heard a door open. Oh, well. Alright, um, I not only got the, the, the first pet DLC, but I also got an old DLC for the game called Cool Kitchen, and, um, right now I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna show you guys the, um, the thing that, that's in this, in that DLC. We got an ice cream machine. This is kind of amazing. This should have been out when The Sims 4 first came out, but instead it was in a DLC, which sucked. Uh... I hate it now. Alright, so, um, we have a hamster and he's adorable. MC, you play with him. Uh, what else can we do with him? We can talk. Um, we can ask about rodents. Let's ask about rodents. Penerve Lazamba. Oh, wow, embarrass yourself in front of your, in front of your hamster. Alright, so you stop playing. Alright, so what we're gonna do is, um, we're actually gonna get Sayuri into the gym, but she, Oh, I thought she was tired. Well, what's her, um, needs right now? Oh, she's a little bit tired, so let's get her needs up, and then we'll send her to the gym. So, um... Uh, yeah, that's what we'll do, because she is getting a little bit big. I don't want to say the word, because it sounds rude to me now that... Now that I'm playing a life game. Alright, so, um... Yeah, so I'll bring her needs up, and then we'll go to the gym. Alright, so Sire's at the gym. I bought Jess with us, because Jess usually w works out here, I guess. Alright, so, um, I was meant to tell you guys this before, and also the video I tried to make. Um, um, I think, I, f I think I'm thinking about, um, making 50 videos of The Sims 4, and then we're gonna move on to a new series, and that series is going to involve Sarah. And um, that's going to be a new Sims 4 series. And um, I got I was eating a cookie earlier and I was, um, it stuck in my teeth. Alright, so as I was saying, um, um, when we hit 50 videos, that'll be the last time we'll play as Sayuri. And in the next Sims 4 video I do, um, Sarah will be a teenager and it will be close to a to a um, young adult and we're gonna do a video on her and we're gonna try and do what she does when her mother was around but um the thing is I was gonna try and um get her own place when she was a teenager but ever since I got the Parenthood DLC I've been um doing another Sims 4 file and um and this is kind of a this is kind of a touching um thing um when you're sim as a teenager, like becomes great friends with your parents and family members, they start to remember them when they're when they move out. So, um, we'll have Sarah stick around when she's a teenager, and we'll have her move out when she's a um, a young adult. And oh my God, Sayuri! I just realized she was very playful, and look at her now. That is creepy as heck. All right, so um, so when's um Sayuri? When's everyone's birthday? Actually, let me check. All right, so Winterfest is in a few days. Um, 
Well, Jay's birthday is gonna be soon. Sorry, MC's birthday is not until a few weeks. Sayuri's is not until like maybe two or three more weeks. God, Sarah's. Wow, everyone's birthday is gonna be so um, so far, so far. And um, I think this is a good time. I think that was a good time to say what I was saying earlier. So let's have her work out for a few minutes with chest, and um, and maybe we'll get her fishing. And, um, actually, I think I'll, I think I'll, um, we'll take a break for fishing, because right now it's, um, right now it's winter. But let's have her work out, and then we'll, then I'll update you guys if anything happens randomly. Alright, so while Sayori is, um, working out, I'm going to show you guys something, and this is actually kind of an important thing if you guys got the Parenthood DLC. So, um, let's see, um, you see these right here, um, if... The uh, manners and responsibility. Um, these are kind of an important thing when your um, child grows up. If they, are, if you have the Parenthood DLC and connection just died. All right. So, um, so if Sa Sarah does more schoolwork and get good grades, then she'll get a responsibility trait. And when that goes all the way up, she'll um have like a um, like a. Uh, I think she'll be more focused. And if she has a good manners trait, that's all the way up, which she does. She'll have like a um. A good manner um, aspiration, which means that when she turns into a young adult, she um, she um, gets a she gets a polite um, re, re polite pro, pra, she gets a, she gets a polite um, introduction, which means that she can like shake a hand shake hands to a sim, and that actually um, that actually boosts up their friendship bar. Um, the em her emotional control is not good. I don't know what happens if you get that. So we're gonna have to like, um, they're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get that up and see what happens. Uh, so we can get it up by, uh, random jog to clear their mind. Okay, so that's for a teen. Um, all right. So I'll see what these things do in like a website or something, and um, yeah, we'll focus on those from there so that's very important when we um when we um when we become a when we play as sarah soon okay so sorry i was getting tired of working out and i didn't want her to die from from a workout which i don't think you can die from so she's making a salad i forgot what it was but she's gonna serve it and um we're actually gonna hope that oh she's actually losing a few pounds that's good sorry that's very good. You're actually living a healthy diet. That's good. Oh, and I think she just lost a few pounds right now. Like, I just saw her T-posing. Did you guys just see that? Uh, oh my god. This is weird. And you, and you guys might have wondered who the heck this guy was in, in the first part of the episode. Um, this is actually the nanny, Bran Tinley, and he, and I hired him in the video I was trying to record. Oh look, Candy's here. Uh, but... Again, audio error, but, uh, and, yeah. So, yeah. And, and look, Sayuri's feeling great. And that's making me great. All right, well, Candy's here. So let's, so let's open the door and greet her in. All right, so now Sayuri and, and, yeah, Sayuri and Candy are becoming best friends now, which is great. And we got another vacation, what's up? Sorry, I just had fun. Uh, oh! Oh no! I replaced Jess! Oh no! But she still likes us, right? Let's check the relationship. Uh, yeah, we're sort of still friends. But if she calls us and yells at us, then it's gonna be my fault. Okay, I am really wondering how long Sarah's gonna be in that costume. Because I think it's part of her traits now. Oh, wait, no, it's not, but... Uh, is she ever gonna take off that costume? I hope so. It's driving me nuts. Let me know in the comments below if there's a time limit on when she... <coughs> when she, um, takes that off, because she's been in that ever since the last episode. Oh, look at little Harry. He's, he's like, moping around in that. This is why I like hamsters. I like the little things that they go inside, because it's so fun. I really liked that when I was a kid. And I think 
I would think I was at maybe a Christian school. I don't know. It's been a long time. I was back in Kentucky. Uh, we They had this little pet hamster, and sometimes they put him in the ball, and he would just run around in it in the hallways. And I saw it, and I was like, oh, my God, that is so awesome. I wish I can do that. I, I actually wish I can go inside those hamster balls. I really want one now. I seriously want one now. All right, so I'm going to have MC explore space because I think we need three more space rocks to get the whole set. And, uh... All right, we're going to pin that because we actually do need to do that. I think he's at level seven or eight on that. I don't know. So let's just see what's going on in space for MC. A mysterious message. Once in orbit, MC gets an odd message from the International Sim Space Station. It's badly garbled and makes little sense. MC decides to fly over and check it out. Okay. Let's hope it's nothing bad. Let's really hope so. A strange spectacle. MC arrives um, at the seemingly undamaged station but hears some old laughter echoing down the halls. He follows the strange sounds to the mess hall where some clearly in in range astronauts are throwing bricks of freeze dried ice cream at each other. What should MC do? Let's um confiscate the weapons. Space that can't be good. It seems fairly obvious at the point that MC at this point that the crew has completely lost their marbles. MC sneak Seeks through the fight and grabs a box of food, hiding it away so they won't waste it. MC returns to the rocket and contacts Command, who will send a rescue party. Okay, so we basically say, <gasps> Whoa, we found a space rock! Where is it? Let me see it. Where is it? Where is it? That's not a space rock. <gasps> this is it! Great, I think we have two more to find now. Let's, let me put it there and I'll, uh, oh, not there, not there! Right here. There we go. All right. Good job, MC. Malafoy, Vobia. Huh? Yeah. Good job. Actually, let's let him go. Let's go. Let's 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 explore space again. All right. We'll do do that, and then you can go to bed. Sorry, he's already in bed. All right. While passing through the asteroid belt, MC notices something ducking behind the nearby yeah, rock. MC slowly guides the ship in to investigate. I don't like this. Alright, so MC notices an odd green colored creature shaped like a plub bob. It doesn't seem to have recognized that MC was nearby. Should MC try to communicate with it or watch quietly from a distance? Uh, I say we watch quietly. Alright, observation, MC quietly follows the creature. He notes that the alien changes colors in a current pattern, S seemingly as a way to communicate. Eventually, the creature flies away. Alright, no findings and return home. Alright, I guess MC's going home early. Oh, he might. I mean, maybe? Alright, he's home. Alright. So let's see that space rock he has. Alright, so this is the one that we found in another episode. And this is the one we found now. So that so that means we didn't find the same one, which is good. So I think we have two more left. And then we can make a death flower, which is what we get from collecting all the space rocks. And that's what we need to make the, um, the, um, ambrosia. That's what it's called. That's what the... That's what the thing is. That's what the thing is called to to bring a dead sim back from the dead. And Cyrus gloomy. Why is she? Oh, it's because she's um has a gloomy trait. I meant sad, but <laughs> you guys get the idea. All right, guys. I think that'll do it for this episode of The Sims 4 with <coughs> for Sayuri. Um, I really am sorry if it's um short. I just didn't expect to um for the DLC to just be easily. Um, well, what I mean is, I just didn't expect it to be very easy to get a hamster. I just thought that maybe you had to, like, get one from a pet shop, because I thought that would be a great addition to the DLC. But, um, no, it's not. But at least we get a pet hamster named Harry. I know that it's 
I know that we couldn't get a dog or a cat, but at least this is a practice for um, Sayuri getting a... Oh, she's getting him a treat. Well, at least it's good practice, I guess. So anyway, guys, if you guys... If you guys suggest that we should give Sayuri a real pet, like a dog or a cat, let me know in the comments below, and I'll pick the one that has the most answers. And um, if you guys want me to name rename Harry, let me know which name, and I'll... And I'll I'll choose the one that has the most answers. And, um... Actually, um, if you guys just want the next video to be focused on maybe MC going to space and collecting the space rocks, or Sayuri doing the Strangerville DLC, let me know, and, um, I might do something randomly again. And I might download another DLC next time, but we'll wait and see. But other than that, guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Leave a like if you did, and I'm sorry if it's short, but, um... Maybe the next one will be longer. Hopefully not too long. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye!